The family of uh, Zbusiso Mpazwa says more needs to be done to protect women and children. They are mourning the tragic death of their 16-year-old son, who was allegedly stabbed to death by his stepfather last week. Zbusiso will be laid to rest on Friday. Newsroom Africa reporter Nasi P. Sami, father's report. I was living in a father's nightmare. No parent want to bury their child. But to see your son lying there lifeless like that, and the mother covered in blood. He's been threatening to kill my son for a long time. A bitter divorce battle has led to the death of 16-year-old Smusi Sombazwa. It's alleged that his stepfather is responsible for his tragic death. Smusi so died from multiple stab wounds. His family says they've been paralyzed by pain since his death on the 25th of October. This guy also had the mother on her head. He was trying to kill everyone. The little one kicked the door at the kitchen to try and call the neighbors when his, when his mother was fighting with this guy, trying to take away the knife from him. So that's when then he came and, and this mother then managed to, to wrestle the knife from this guy and told the to run away for help because the coward that he is, he stepped my son from the back. He was very protective of his mother and his brother. Zippo, he, is, he died a hero. The family will lay their son to rest in Armanas on the 5th of November, a day before his 17th birthday. So, <clears throat> I'm the ancestors all deal with him. That's why I want him released. Man, I want to lift a finger. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth the trouble. Civil society organizations believe the government and law enforcement agencies need to start walking the talk when it comes to tackling the scourge of gender-based violence. We need to have more police that will be trained and, and be given more information in, as to how to handle these kind of cases. The stepfather will appear at the Blue Down Magistrates Court on Friday facing charges of murder and attempted murder. For news from Africa on Channel 405, I'm Nasipi Sameh in the East River.